morning everybody so we anchored kind of out in the middle of the bay but close to an island and the way the waves were coming we kind of sailed along the edge of this island until we found the calm spot and then we just dropped the hook there there the issue is we're much closer to this island than I would ever like to be especially since its shore is all rock take a look so this here is Poplar Island which is currently being rebuilt so a long time ago this island was large and over the years it became uh, more and more eroded and it was getting washed away so at one point it was down to as low as four acres in like the early 1990s so the island was pretty much going to be gone and then they decided hey let's build this island back up so they used dredge materials from the C and D canal and the mouth of the bay, which are clean areas. They did not use dredged material from Baltimore because that is disgusting and heavily polluted. Uh, and they were just dumping it on here to build up the island. Uh, right now it's either 1,100 or 1,400 acres. So it's, they've made a huge comeback. They started the project in 1998 and now it's, it's a wildlife sanctuary. So they noticed when they started making the island and then they made a couple wetland sections in it just to like test it out instantly turtles started traveling there to then breed and live there and then birds started to stop through and it's just it's a huge wildlife preserve so that gave more motivation to continue the project and now it's near completion they plan to have it finished in the 2020s so as of now it's just a giant breakwater so that the wetlands don't get eroded away and wetlands inside. So it's it's a really cool concept. The only issue is it's these giant boulders for shore. So we were gonna row Morty to shore before we knew exactly what the island was. And then uh, we saw those giant rocks and thought, mm, maybe not, because it was windy and it was a strong current in the area. So poor Morty had to sleep outside on the deck with me because he will revenge poop if we take him inside and don't take him to shore. So, Maddie slept inside, I slept in the cockpit with Morty, and it was a really rolly night, so when a giant container ship or a tanker would roll by, its wake would hit us with like full fury, because the channel is right on our side. And then, the other thing that kept me up was all those birds that live there. They're loud! So, we're now going to set sail. Our next stop is Calvert Cliffs, which is a giant cliff that's got a bunch of fossils in it. So we're going to see if we can't find any fossils there. And then from there we're going to keep heading south towards Solomon's Island, which is a place I've never been, but a lot of cruisers have told me it's a great stopover. in the channel during the day is a lot less scary because you can see these giant ships when they're way off on the horizon miles away so you start planning for them and and all as well when it's at night you have to look and figure out you know the navigation lights to spot the ship figure out which way it's going and then not hit it <laughs> so this is a lot less nerve-wracking even though we're a lot closer than we were to the other boats last night <laughs> Plan is 
we're going to anchor just outside of them, row in, and see if we can find some fossils. Now, to get in there well, what we're going to do is we're going to come up close. When we get like nine feet under our keel of water depth, we'll heave to. The boat will come to a stop, and then I'll just run up, drop the anchor right there, and then we'll drop our sails. adventure in our new dinghy yeah. and Morty is so ready to get to shore and we are gonna see some Calvert Cliffs. There is wisdom with our crane system set up. <laughs> yep. Monty's kind of drooping. We are cooking. Yeah. These oars are almost as long as the dinghy is. Man do they pull. And Herbie's getting a workout. <laughs> yeah. Instead of an outboard, you got me. <laughs> All right. Morty. Hey. <laughs> Calvert Cliffs, 10 to 20 million years ago, was completely underwater along with the rest of Maryland and these cliffs formed and it's a place where you can find tons of little fossils. One of the most common things you'll find is these little black shark teeth, one of which I found almost right away. So it's just kind of cool and it's a pretty area. It was fun to row all the way here. <laughs> And we've got the beautiful beach behind us. Luckily, it's a nice calm day, so we were able to make it quite easily. Herbie got a workout, but that's okay. <laughs> I was fine. Just hunting. So as you can see, we're not allowed to enter, but there are the cliffs right there. of earth sprouting out of the ground. I just dropped my other one. I'm gonna find another shark tooth. Here we go. Oh, Morty, Morty, out of the water. Oop, Morty. Out of the water, come on. Come here, boy. Come, come on, here. out of the water. Yes, come oh, on. Now he's no, a salty corgi, no. come on. He knows. Check this out. It's huge. Uh, Much more impressive than this little guy. Yeah, that's a scary looking tooth. Yeah, that's awesome. You're a dentist. Can you put that in my mouth? Yes, please. Just replace one of my teeth with that. We'll do it for a lower incisor. Perfect. Yeah. So we learned a lesson. We have this liter jug that we can bring with us for drinking water. We should bring it. That way we can drink. Because I am thirsty and forgot my water, and because Maddie also wants some exercise, she gets to row us back to the boat that way. But the fun thing when you're rowing, you can't see where you're going. Person take me a in the back. To to this. Okay. Point. Tee <laughs> Yes. Edge, how does it feel to be the motor? Empowering. Good. 
and hopeless. <laughs> Here we have our hoisting system ready to receive. Herbie made hot dogs and fries. Not for you. Hot dogs and fries. I'm so excited for this dinner. It's eight o'clock. We've been eating at nine lately. Mmm. Oh. And that there is a tugboat passing by. Next time on Sailing Wisdom, we experience intense seas caused by chilling winds, but we finally make it to Solomon's Island. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!